it's important to have good measurements of the holes that you're going to drill in the floor of your van. So to have somewhat accurate measurements, I would take a measurement inside the van and then transfer that to underneath the van to be sure that I'm not drilling into the muffler, gas tank, brake lines, making sure that there's no obstructions underneath. To do that, I took a square and I extended it with the steel ruler. Put a little base on it so it doesn't fall over and simply took and placed it up against the van in multiple places along the back and put down a line of painter's tape. Then after I take my measurements inside, I can simply move my ruler under the van and place it against that painter's tape and get the same measurement underneath the van. As long as it's accurate within an inch or two, I can see that there's no obstruction underneath before I drill my hole on the top. Also, when you're drilling through the floor of the van, very good idea to put a drill stop on so that you don't automatically or instantly punch right through and hit something that's a few inches below the van floor. Hopefully that helps you out, gives you a simple easy way to be sure that you don't get yourself into problems by drilling into something you didn't really want to drill into. Okay, very quickly, here's another little thing that kind of got me. This is a drill stop. You're using an Allen wrench to tighten it onto your drill bit so that you don't drill too far into the material that you're drilling. In this case, into the steel of the van. Well, when I use this, and I drill the hole into the floor of the van to put the floor in, it slipped once. Now, it was okay because there was nothing below it, but this slipped down and it was a little scary. So, what I've done to ensure that doesn't happen, I'm about to drill out some holes in the walls of the van, and I've set this because I just want to get through that little thin sheet metal and make the hole that's already there a little bit bigger. But to ensure this doesn't slip and I don't go all the way through and put a dent in the side of the van, I cut myself a piece of electrical conduit. So the electrical conduit, the drill bit's going to go in that, and that is going to go into my drill. Now, even if this drill stop fails and slips down, this electrical conduit will stop it or stop me from puncturing a hole and denting the side of my van. Just something to think about, very simple and easy to do and might save you a little heartache. This was a plastic mechanical pencil it's giving its life so that I do not make a mistake. I'm going to take it and cut it down to fit it over this drill bit. So now that'll fit over this 3 16 inch drill bit and that will go into the drill. So now if that drill stop slips, it won't continue on down and I won't put a dent in the side of the van. So now I got this created for two different drill bit sizes. And that'll probably do it. 
I think. If not, I'll come up with another solution to be sure that I uh, don't slip. Take this handle off so you can get this off much easier. You're going to need a 5 millimeter Allen wrench. that's loose you should be able to get to get this all off this little tool seems to work the best you just get your fingernail underneath slide that tool up in there and just pry down and off she comes. Sometimes they look like they're going to break but I haven't broken one yet which is unusual because quite often they do break. Let's see. Bring you in closer. It's important to try not to lose all of the parts. Better hang on to those, you might need them again. And always put that Allen wrench back, that way you'll be able to find it the next time you need it. <laughs> 